Grace and peace be unto you from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is yours truly, Apostle and Prophet, Amen, and Global Leader and Dr. Lamont Robinson. Also, that I reside in Bishop Apostle Paul Smith, our international mother, uh, Dr. Pinot Burns. We bring you greetings from Royal Generation Body Christ Believers International Incorporated, United States of America and the UK, Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. at Business Hours. Amen. Royal Generation Worldwide at gmail.com. Thursdays at 8 p.m. is prayer meeting. Sundays at 8 p.m. is prophetic encounter. And then also uh, May 19, 2024, at uh, 1948 Southern Boulevard, it would be possible that we preach for the Roman Day service. Preacher Henry Simmons, you know, uh, sanctuary. Amen. Also, uh, June the 2nd, 2024, at uh, 3 p.m., we'll be at 51 Tesla Place. Also, May 19th, I mean, I mean, July 13th, 2024, at uh, 3 p.m., we'll be at uh, 11206 Farmers Boulevard, St. Albans, New York. The Lord is truly in this place. Reverence the presence of God for those around the world. We esteem and honor all the apostles and prophets, pastors and teachers, evangelists, and to the clergy at large. Please let us know where you're watching us from. Millions and thousands of you would experience the supernatural power of God in your life. Humble yourselves under his presence and let God speak. Follow the thoughts of God concerning the congregation and the people of God. Trust the Lord with all of your heart and lean not into your own understanding acknowledge the Lord and he will direct your path let's put your hands toward the screen and receive the strength of God every demonic force Every powers of darkness, principalities and powers are being destroyed in the name of Jesus. No weapon that is formed against you, sickness, disease, infirmities shall prosper. Because you are healed, delivered, and set free. To those that are watching us from different regions, states, nations, kindreds, just take time out just to reverence God. For the Lord is anointing is here. Miraculously and miracles, signs and wonders are going to happen. There's a great shifting, there's a great, amen, shifting is happening amongst America. Do not miss this move of God. I'm talking to those you know who you are. Do not miss this move of God. You come against arrogance, ignorance, selfishness, pride, ego, competition, rage, anger, whatever is in your heart. God wants you to remove it. If it's flesh, God wants you to remove it. If it's hurt and pain, may we come against every sexually 
addictions, every pornography, every every addictions or any trademarks or anything that you have adopted to from former activities. We ask God to release it out of you in the name of Jesus. God is moving to every religious organization. God is bringing properties, wealth, prosperity. God wants you to expand and go to the next level to those that are back and forth in the studios your music will touch millions of people you are incoming artists you are book writers you decree it declare it God said I make you the head and not the tail I make you above and not beneath God is doing something so great in these last days. Do not miss this move of God. Because there is a glory that will be released in these last days. God says, I'm raising up my apostles and prophets and they will go forth. Become again the spirit of rape, molestation, we come against the spirit of, of racism. We come against the spirit of a man of sabotage. Every spirit that is not like God. The spirit of blackmail. And we come against it now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lack of untrustworthy. Hatefulness and jealousy. Any spirits, a victim of evil things, murderers, amen. Whatever it done in the dark, God will reveal it to the light. I'm talking to every leader around the United States of America. I'm talking to you. You know who you are. And God is getting ready to move. Congregations begin to grow. Amen. Supports begin to increase. God says, stay faithful. Don't stop preaching. And I'm getting ready to add on to your life. To those that are fighting eviction notices. Con Edison bills, student loans, Rob and Peter that pay Paul, trying to figure out how I'm going to pay my mortgage. Amen. You're living from check to check. Sometimes it's not enough for to feed your family. And God is telling me to tell you as an individual, hold on. Because help is on the way. Some of you have been incarcerated. You've been in captivity. You've been behind prison, locked up. You've been in the shelter. You've been back and forth to the YMCA, the Red Cross. Some of your houses have, some of your places have went through a head-on collision. Some of you homes have been burnt down. You were sleeping in the car, sleeping in the train. And you've been robbing Peter to pay Paul. Some of you have been eating out of that garbage can. God knows all things, and He is going to bring everything in your life that's been torn down back together. But sometimes God has to humble you. Men and women of God, I'm not going to talk to those leaders I'm talking to everybody stay humble nobody's better than nobody the same way God the same way you're rich God can take you down 
to all these leaders that have congregations, be careful how we treat the leaders or the, or the people that follows us. Don't think that you're more better than somebody. Respect people. You understand? The prophet man that gained the whole world. He could gain the world, have all the riches, all the money. You lose your son. You become ass. I must be arrogant, ignorant. And we lost everything. We had businesses, companies, and lost everything. And God is telling me to tell you, stay humble, stay in humility. Some of you, parents has been incarcerated, and you was in foster care, adopted. You have did a lot of things in your life, unseemly. My mother, a prime example, was on drugs. Was on drugs. Amen. Do all kind of drugs. Amen. Crack cocaine and pills and people put sticking needles in your arms. Mm, popping pills. Ooh, Jesus. Put that pill down. Some of you want to overdose. You want to go through a mental breakdown. You know who you are. Put that gun down. Put that knife down. Put them pills down. Some of you take pills for your bipolar or your schizophrenic or your mental illness. God is going to heal some of your mental illnesses. Your disorders. He's going to heal some of your. Amen. God wants to give you self control. Some of us is handicapped in certain areas. Amen. God knows all things. He's going to do the foolish things to become the wise. I'm talking to you. You've been, some of you is abandoned. Hate your father, hate your mother. Lack of attendance. Some of you ever had a graduation or the birthday present or different things in your life or certain behaviors. Get your flashbacks. Some of you are sharing facilities for your services and you're trying to figure out Lord I know how I'm going to pay these bills I joined these denominations how I'm going to pay these bills and God is going to send help along the way don't give up God sees your sacrifices He sees your heart and He is going to move in your behalf the Lord the God Almighty is going to move in your behalf the Lord is going to move. Don't throw in the towel. Don't give up. He's going to move. And he's going to move. In a supernatural way. We come against sickness, gouch. We come against bladder issues. We come against a man, migraine, headaches, stress, worrying. Untimely death, fear, breathing problems. These things that some of you are battling with. Unforgiveness, grudges, anger. And become against the witch, the warlock, confusion, confused in the mind. Let this mind, which also in you, which also in Christ Jesus, forget the things which are behind you and press forth. God got some great things in store for you. You ain't got to hang your head down. You ain't got to throw in the towel. Keep moving forward. Don't give up. 
on your dream, your visions. Some of you want apartments, you want studios. You need rooms, God gonna give it to you. You would travel, amen. You would do a lot of great things. I'm encouraging you to go forth. Scamming. A lot of things we do just to make ends meet. church hurt the debates the back and forth the congregations a lot of us have joined coverings and we've been sexually abused molested a lot of things that we don't tell people but God knows all things and he's coming to heal he coming to deliver Untimely death. Somebody that's going through a hard, overwhelmed depression. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. God wants to, he wants to give you peace. Oh, God. Some of you right now are so overwhelmed and depressed. Some of you are homeless. Sleeping from house to house. A lot of you going through a lot. Oh God. Joint pain. Joint pain. Mm. Back issues. Mm. Strokes and heart attacks. Come against it in Jesus' name. Because HIV, the oh, she does. Traitors. Oh, God. Titans in the streets. Some of you have been going to some psychotic atmospheres. The abuse. Some of you have been hit by your husbands, your, your spouses. Oh, God. The abuse, the abuse. God is healing you from those homes. Ooh, that's been affected by the abuse. The slave mentality. Jesus is healing because the presence of God is in this place. Ooh, no. Unity in some of these sanctuaries. Jesus. Spirit of greediness. Oh God. God sees all things. But God's gonna be feel. Keep your hands clean. Be careful how you treat people. Oh God. Come against the bullets. Come against the bullets. Come against the bullets. Oh Jesus. Reverse death. Reverse sickness. Reverse it. I'm done. God bless you, my grace.